hello friends welcome back to online mass up so we're going to be solving this uh, equation right here so this is x power 6 is equal to 64 so what are the values of x that is actually going to satisfy this and because we have uh, x to the power of 6 we are going to be uh, getting six values of x that will satisfy this equation so you want to follow through even as you see how to solve this okay so the first thing i want to do is actually to uh, subtract 64 from both sides so if i do that i'm going to be having x power 6 minus 64 is equal to zero okay so i can actually go ahead to rewrite this x power 6 as x power 3 okay and then of course power 2 which i won't change anything because 2 times 3 will still give me 6 minus then i can write this 64 as 8 power 2 okay so the idea is i actually want to use the rule of um, difference of two squares to evaluate okay so you can see i've got one square here and i've got another one and i can remember that if you have a power 2 minus b power 2 you can actually expand this to be a minus b and then of course multiply by a plus b so this is the rule i'm gonna be using to expand this so if i apply that of course in this case you can see that our a is equal to x power 3 and b is equal to 8 okay so if i do that this is actually going to change to x power 3 minus 8 okay and then multiply by x power 3 plus 8 okay is equal to 0 uh, then using the zero product rule this is actually going to be implying that x power 3 minus 8 is equal to 0 or x power 3 plus 8 is equal to 0 so i'm actually going to be solving these two equations to find out all of the values of x that will satisfy this equation so if i call this the case one so let's go for this x power 3 i can actually write this 8 as 2 power 3 is equal to 0 okay and then of course you can see that this is the difference of two cubes and of course you can remember that if you have a power 3 minus b power 3 you can actually expand this to be a minus b and then multiply by a squared uh, plus a b and then plus b squared okay so when you multiply this is actually going to give you the difference of two cubes okay so applying that here a is same as x and then b is two here so i'm going to be having that this will change to x minus two okay multiply by x power two and then plus two x and then plus two power two which is which will be equal to four okay and of course it's still equal to zero so that at this point you can see that when we apply the zero product rule what we have is that s is equal to uh, two that is when we take this case or x squared here plus two x plus four will be equal to zero okay and of course i just equated these brackets to zero so that i will now add two to both sides and that is how i got this first value of x which shows that x is equal to two so what i'm going to do next is to solve this quadratic equation here and to just make it easier i'm going to be using the uh, general formula methods to solve so where x will be equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac okay and then of course divided by 2a and in this case a which is the coefficient of x squared is equal to 1 b which is the coefficient of x is equal to 2 and then c which is this constant here is equal to 4. so what i'm going to do is just to go ahead to uh, replace all of these values in this equation right here so that i can find i can obtain the value of x so if i do that x 
will be equal to uh, b here is 2 so i'm gonna have i'm gonna have minus 2 plus or minus the square root of the square root of minus 2 raised to the power 2 and then minus 4 times 1 and then times 4 here which is the c okay and all of this will be divided by 2 times a which is 1 okay so moving on this will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus the square root of minus 2 squared is equal to 4 minus 4 times 1 times 4 here is 16 okay and then divided by 2 times 1 is 2 what i will have is minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 16 here is minus 12 okay divided by 2 so what i'm just gonna do next is just to go ahead to simplify this root minus 2 and of course you know that i can actually rewrite it as root negative 1 uh, multiply by 12 okay that is what i have and i can also go ahead to split it i have minus 2 plus or minus root negative 1 and then multiply by root 12 and i can write this root 12 as 4 times 3 okay all of these will be divided by 2 and then if i proceed this will be equal to negative 2 plus or minus root negative 1 is equal to i is equal to the complex value i and then multiply by root 4 here is 2 and then 2 times root 3 all divided by 2 so that if i write this what i'm going to be having is that x is equal to okay minus 2 plus or minus i'm going to write this first 2 root 3 i okay and then divided by 2 and since uh, since 2 is common for all of it i'm actually going to factorize 2 out so i have 2 into minus 1 plus or minus root 3 i okay and all divided by 2 so that these two can actually cancel this and eventually the next two values of x will now be equal to minus 1 plus or minus root 3 i okay so this is going to be the next two values of x okay so what we have to do next you just to go ahead to obtain the remaining three values of x we are just going to consider this case right here and then of course we obtain the remaining values of x so what we have there is x power 3 and then plus 8 is equal to 0 okay so how do we simplify this you just need to remember that it, when you have a power 3 plus b power 3 you can actually expand this uh, to be a uh, plus b okay multiply by a squared minus a b and then plus b squared okay what we have here is it so in order for us to write this to be in the form of cube this we can also write as x power 3 and then plus 2 power 3 okay so that in this case you can see that our b is equal to 2 so we have x plus 2 okay and then multiply by x squared minus 2x and then plus 2 power 2 here will be equal to 4 okay and this will be equal to 0 so if i also apply the zero product rule you see that uh, x plus 2 is equal to 0 which will imply from here that x is equal to negative 2 okay this will be the next value of x and then if i consider this one x squared minus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0 so to solve this quadratic equation 2 we utilize the general formula method okay so x will be equal to 
minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a and in this case a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 2 and then c is equal to 4 so if we got to replace all of those values that should be equal to minus okay minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 minus 4 times 1 times c here and c is equal to 4 all of this is divided by 2 times 1 so that if we move on from here so this is equal to minus times minus here is plus and then plus or minus root minus 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 4 times 1 will be 16 okay all divided by 2 so eventually this is actually going to be equal to 2 plus or minus root minus 12 okay divided by 2 and of course if you can remember what we solved root negative 12 is equal to uh, 2 root 3 i so i'm actually going to replace 2 root 3 i for root minus 12 so that if i do that x is actually going to be equal to 2 plus or minus 2 root 3 i all divided by 2 okay and then moving on x is now equal to i can factorize this two out here so this is 2 into 1 plus or minus root 3 i all divided by 2 so these two can also cancel this and then what i will have left is that x is equal to 1 plus or minus root 3 i okay so this is the remaining two values of x so that if we bring everything together in this box we actually see that first x is equal to 2 and then x is also equal to negative 2 okay and x is equal to minus 1 plus root 3 i okay x is also equal to minus 1 minus root 3 i okay x is equal to 1 plus root 3 i and finally x is equal to 1 minus root 3 i so these are the six values of x and of course you can see that these two are uh, real numbers and then these four here are all complex numbers complex values okay so let me have your thoughts in the comment section if you have any questions do drop in the comment box and we'll surely get back to you thank you so much for watching and i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye